in serology section we are going to perform hemagglutination assay and hemagglutination inhibition firstly we will perform the ha and so for that we have to take 25 ml of normal saline up to 11 wells this is our nd virus for which we have to perform the second step in the ha is to add 0.25 ml virus in the first well and then we will do the serial dilution now we are performing the serial dilution from one well to the 11 and don't forget to discard the 25 ml in the last Now for this step which we are going to perform is to add 25 ml of 1% washed RBC in all wells. Now incubate it in the fridge for 30 minutes and after that you can see the results. In between the task of HA and HI, I have to do something else to write the letter of the NDN on the top of the tube to remember. This is the result of the HI, oh sorry, HA, which we performed a couple of minutes ago. The result which we get from the HA is 7 tighter. After doing HA, now we are moving further toward the HI which is hemagglutination inhibition. So for that you have to take the 50 ml of normal saline. Remember that in the HI we fill the saline till 96 wells of the titer. Now we are moving toward the next step which I love most is to add 25 ml of serum in each column from A to so on. After filling the serum in the whales, starting whales, now you have to perform the serial dilution using the gesture of the same needles and discard the 25 ml in the last. Now keep in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now according to your HA result, you have to make a virus using saline and a sample or a virus. 
like my result was 7 so i have to make a 8 ml saline and 0 0.25 virus mix it and this is how your virus will be prepared after preparing virus then you have to add virus 0 0.25 up to 11 wells and then you have to keep in the fridge for 30 minutes now take out from the fridge and add 1% washed rbc 25 ml in all well up to 11 This is our HI result. This is the HI result in which you get uh, in number one whale you get a three and two four and a three and so on like this. You have to sum up this all and divide it by eight and this is how you will get your mean.